Hello there, our theme is Mario AI Championship. Before I say to you further details, I want you to see Mario game from Java programmers in Mario Competition in 2011. So, let's play. Okay, we press enter to continue. As you can see, A is for run and S is for jump. We press enter to continue and we start playing. It's amazing how they can achieve this result on our screens. They really did an amazing job and really fun. It's an infinite Mario game with different levels. Now I'm going to present you more details about this competition and how it's related with artificial intelligence. You don't know what artificial intelligence is? Well, let's get started. Artificial intelligence is the intelligence of machines and the branch of computer science that aims to create it. Game artificial intelligence refers to techniques used in computer and video games to produce the illusion of intelligence in the behavior of non-player characters. The techniques used typically draw upon existing methods from, a, from the field of artificial intelligence. However, the term game AI is often used to refer to a broad set of algorithms that also include techniques from control theory, robotics, computer graphics and computer science in general. And here you can see some examples of games which are related to game artificial intelligence. Now, let's talk about Mario AI Championship. In the last few years, a number of game AI competitions have been run in association with major international conferences, several of them sponsored by the IEEE Computational Intelligence Society. These competitions are based either on classical board games such as Othello and Go, or video games such as Pac-Man, Super Mario, an Unreal Tournament. In most of these competitions, competitors submit controllers that interface to the game through an API built by the organizers of the competitions. The competition is won by the person or team that submitted the controller that played the game best, either on its own for single player games such as Pac-Man or against others. If you plan to participate, you should join the Mario Competition Google Group. All technical and organizational questions should be posted to this group where they will be answered by the organizers and stored in a searchable archive. You participate in the competition by submitting a controller. Your submission could consist of a piece of Java code or a Wox file. You could submit both if you want. But first, you will have to develop your controller using your method of choice and the Java software package. As people submit their controllers, they will publish a lead table for the controllers submitted so far. At the end of the competition, source code for all controllers will be posted on the final lead table. And now, we have to inform you about competition's rules, right? So, as you can see, the first rule refers to your controller, which must be implemented using agent interface. All information about the environment is provided by environment interface. Any use of java.reflection of similar methods to directly access or influence the workings or internal state of the environment during write time is forbidden. The controllers need to run in real time. This means that each time step cannot require more than 40 milliseconds processing on a MacBook Pro from 2008. How fast your submission runs on your computer can be got using the stats class. Scoring will be measured as the average distance traveled on a number of previously unseen levels featuring enemies. We will use the competition score class. You should provide your own competition score with seat 0 in your submission, but we will not release the seat used in the final scoring before the scoring event. Multi objective fitness. This rule may conclude the case of two different agents having the same fitness. However, we still have time breakers for this weird case. 
what is tiebreakers? If two controllers get the same score, a number of tiebreakers would be applied in the prescribed order. Number of creatures killed, number of coins gained, time in milliseconds, and time running time. Now, what algorithms are used mostly for the competition? First of all, A star. A star search is well known, simple, and fast algorithm to find shortest paths which seem perfect for the Mario competition. As it turns out, A star search is first and flexible enough to find routes through the generated levels in real time. Secondly, genetic algorithm. Genetic al algorithm is a search heuristic that mimics the process of natural evolution. This heuristic is routinely used to generate useful solutions to optimization and search problems. Genetic algorithms belong to the larger class of evolutionary algorithms which generate solutions to optimization problems using techniques inspired by natural evolution such as inheritance, mutation, selection and crossover. And finally, number C, neural network. Artificial neural networks are composed of interconnecting artificial neurons. Artificial neural networks may either be used to gain an understanding of biological neural networks or for solving artificial intelligence problems without necessarily creating a model of a real biological system. Implementation process. We will focus on the implementation process using the A-star algorithm. The implementation process can be separated into these phases. A. Building a physics simulation, including world states and object movement. B. Using the simul simulation in an A-star planning algorithm. And number C. Optimizing the search engine to fulfill re real-time requirements with partial information. And now, let's see more details. A. Simulating the game physics. Due to being open source, the entire physics engine of Infinite Mario Bros. is directly accessible and can be used to simulate future world states that correlate very closely with the actual future world state. This was achieved by copying the entire physics engine to the controller and removing all unnecessary parts such as rendering and some navigation code. Number B, A star for Infinite Mario. The A star search algorithm is a widely used best friends graph search algorithm that finds a path with the lowest cost between a predefined start node and one out of possibly several goal nodes. A star uses a heuristic that estimates the remaining distance to the goal nodes in order to determine the sequence of nodes that are searched by the algorithm. It does so by adding the estimated remaining distance to the previous path cost from the start node to the current node. This heuristic should be admissible for optimality to be guaranteed. However, if only near optimality is required, this constraint can be relaxed to speed up path finding. With a heuristic that overestimates by x, the path will be at most x too long. And finally, number c, variable optimization. While the A star search algorithm is quite solid and guarantees optimality, certain restrictions need to be put on its execution time to stay within the allowed 40 milliseconds for each game update. These restrictions will likely lead to a non-optimal solution, so careful testing has to be undertaken. Now we can see Mario AI based on genetic algorithms. When it fails, you can see on our screen press keys L, R, jump and run. Agent is genetic agent. It seems really fun. When it gets lucky, when it gets stuck on some level, here it is.
when succeeds. Now we can see Mario AI based on neural network as it was before. We can see right, jump, speed, and left, which are the selected work actions. We can see also the speed. which is run we can see all kills by fire, by shell or by stomp Well, if you are a Java lover, then what are you waiting for? Just give it a chance, you will enjoy it. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you like it.